What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to thank everyone who has supported my channel thus far and if you haven't yet, go ahead and tap on that subscribe button because today we're making some juicy wine braised short ribs. Now I've got a pack of maybe about five pounds worth of short ribs and we're going to go get into these ingredients right now. I've got oxtail seasoning. Yes, you can use oxtail seasoning for other things besides oxtail. I've got allspice. I've got some soy sauce over here. Make sure it's low sodium. I also have red label wine. Yes, red label wine. You can also use like a Cabernet or any any other red wine that you prefer in case you don't have it. I have some onion powder right here. Next up, I've got garlic powder. And of course, we can't forget our all-purpose seasoning. All-purpose seasoning, this literally just goes on everything. Don't forget the green seasoning. I'm going to put the recipe video link in the description box. I also have some minced garlic. So the first thing we're going to do is just add a drop of our green seasoning and our all-purpose seasoning. You need about one tablespoon. Next up, we have the oxtail seasoning. All you're going to need is a teaspoon. Just lightly sprinkle it. We don't want to over season this dish too much. Next up, we have the onion powder. You're just going to add a teaspoon to that. Don't over season it or else it won't come out really good. Get that garlic powder. You know, garlic powder goes on everything. Put that on in there, just about, about mm, a teaspoon. Um, I got the low sodium soy sauce. Always make sure you use the low sodium because once you're cooking with a lot of seasoning, you really wanna reduce your sodium. Just put a tablespoon and a half on that. Now we have our fresh seasonings. I have fresh onion, I have green pepper, I have red pepper, and I have thyme. We're gonna go ahead and add that into the bowl. And once you put that on in there, you don't need to marinate this overnight, but you can if you feel like it. And I'm just going to massage all the seasonings, make sure they get all up in there. Now on the stove, I have my Dutch oven placed on a medium heat. Really make sure you heat up that pot for about three to five minutes before you add your oil. I've got about four tablespoons of corn oil. I'm going to go ahead and drop that on in there. You'll see it begin to sizzle a little bit in there because I had a few drops of leftover water. Don't mind me. So pour that on in there. You're going to heat that up for three minutes and you're going to start adding your short ribs. Now, this process is pretty tricky because what you don't want to do is burn the short ribs. You just want to fry them a little so they're brown on all sides. So please make sure that you stay by your pot. Don't walk away. You're going to need to babysit this a little to make sure you don't get any burn marks all over it. So... All of the short ribs are now in the pot. As you can see, I put the short ribs only and I left the onions, peppers, and thyme over on the side. So what I'm doing at this stage is just making sure that we brown all of the short ribs on all sides, flip them over, take a look, you'll see some blood still there. You're not really cooking it. What you're doing is just browning it. So just move them around the pot turn them around as needed make sure they're all browned on all sides and take each individual short rib out as they are done and set them on to the side so once you have all of the short ribs on the side i just put them on a little plate what we're going to do is begin to build our stock so these char marks are full of flavor don't scrape them out Put all of your seasonings as well as the onion, pepper, um, thyme. I dropped about two tablespoons of tomato paste. Make sure you're using tomato paste, not tomato sauce. So saute that a little bit for, I would say, one to two minutes. Next up, you are going to season this. Yes, put a teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder and I also love to use this pick a pepper gingery mango sauce or the hot mango sauce either or and this is not spicy so feel free to go ahead and use it I put about a tablespoon on in there I drop some allspice pimento seeds in there and I saute it again for about a minute 
Here comes the fun part. We are going to grab our Red Label wine. Like I said, you can use whichever red wine you prefer. Um, just make sure it's a dry red wine and not a sweet one. And I put approximately a cup and a half of red wine inside of the pot as well as a cup of water. Then I added the short ribs back on into that stock. And this is really what it should look like. Um, you really want to have your short ribs fully submerged in the stock that we created. Make sure you just drizzle some of the stock on top. Now make sure you cover it. Put your flame on low medium. This is gonna take about an hour to an hour and a half to fully tenderize. And there you have your beautiful wine braised short ribs. Mm, let's take a look. Let's grab a fork. And as you can see, the fork just slides on in there. So gentle. It's so beautiful. Look how rich our stock is. Look how tender our meat is. And that was really dinner. I served it with some rice and peas, some oven baked chicken wings, some seasoned steam broccoli and carrots, as well as some corn. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for some more delicious recipes.